What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to install lower control arm skids on your Tacoma. This here is a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. Um, this is a TRD off-road. Um, he does have a TRD pro skid plate as you can see. And as you can see, he has used it plenty of times because it has gouges and scratches all over this thing. Um, so we're gonna be adding these lower control arm skids here. These are powder coated to match the TRD Pro skid plate color. Um, it's gonna be as close as it can get. Um, but enough talk, let's go ahead and get into the install. All right guys, so this is going to be what we're working with you'll get the lower control arm skids and you'll get the hardware. In the hardware, it's gonna be a couple of different lengths. There's gonna be one longer one with a spacer, washer, a little shorter one, about an inch shorter, and then you'll get a really short one, okay? So each uh, or skid plate will get three uh, bolts and nuts. There will be an extra longer, um, skinnier bolt. This one will be for a 5th uh, gen foreigner. Um, but if you have a Tacoma, just use the one, the shorter one. Of course, the other side is gonna get the exact same hardware. We're gonna show you where, where these goes um, right now. So I'm actually gonna undo all the hardware first. And on the small one, you'll notice that there's a smaller washer and a bigger washer. It needs to go in that order when we uh, install it. So the logo will always be in the front. So we are installing the passenger side. So we will just raise it up. And if you guys do have a plastic uh, clip right here in the front, go ahead and remove that. Just take it off with a flathead, it's super easy. Um, lift it up and we have the bigger but shorter bolt right now which is going to go in the front the longer uh, bigger bolt is going to go in the rear so i'm going to line this up the holes we're going to be using is this square hole and this other square-ish hole back there so we'll poke that through that hole the spacer goes in between the skid plate and the lower control arm and then you can go ahead and feed it up through that hole and it is a uh, carriage bolt so it will fit in that um, that square and it will pretty much hold itself into place um, when you're tightening the nut on top so you'll see right there that's where the bolt goes and then we'll put the washer and then the nylon locking nut on top and then at this point you can let it go and then while you install the other ones in the rear here we're going to be using the furthest hole same thing bolt spacer go through the hole washer and then nylon locking nut Last one is going to be the small, or the skinnier bolt. It's gonna go in the very back here. We're gonna put a small washer on first, put it through the hole. Once you have that up there, you're gonna lower it just a little bit so you can use, or so you can put this uh, other bigger washer up there. And this one is gonna be a little bit tricky just because the CV axles right there so once you have that big washer on you can then put the nut on and then twist from the bottom once you have it in there which i don't have it in there all right so here are the tools that we are going to be using um, any kind of ratchet a 15 socket 11 millimeter socket and an 11 millimeter uh, open end. So we are gonna do the outer one first, which is the 11. Use open end. 
and then underneath, use your 11 to tighten it down. Next, we are gonna be using our 15 millimeter. And since the bottom is a uh, carriage, since this is a carriage bolt, well, we don't need to hold the bottom. Just go ahead and tighten it down. 